welcome back to my studio. I hope you're ready for some fun. I have seen a few people do this over the course of a long period of time. Most recently, I saw Julie from Art by Julie E try this, and I really want to give it a try. So we're going to play with dragon scales. So let's get down to the table, and I'll show you how this is going to go. Okay, so to get us started, I have a tray. So just a little tray that I got at the craft store. Uh, I think I got this at Dollar Tree, actually. Um, I got some cute little dragon Google Eye that I've glued down here. It's still a little wet. Uh, I've pre-painted this tray. I have my ultraviolet light. I've got my UV resin. I've got some pigments, which I'm going to explain in a minute, and some stir cups. And I've got off to the side here, I've got my cup of dish soap and water to make my bubbles to make the dragon skin. So, first thing I'm gonna do is put my gloves on, because I didn't do that yet. And we're gonna have us some fun. So, step one is we have to mix up some of the pigment. So for that, I'm gonna wear my mask, because whenever you're working with dry pigment, be sure to put a mask on. So I may be a little muffled sounding, but it's because I want the mask on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of our UV resin and we're going to put a little in each cup. Actually, I should put the pigment in there first. Hold on. And then we'll put that in. So the pigments we're going to use is we're going to use, uh, first one is called Kiji. This is an eye candy color shift pigment. Uh, the other two are called Pagoda Temple and Akibi. So I got three different shadings. So this first one is a green, purple, blue shift. Then I have a red, gold shift, and I have a violet, blue shift. Just to give us some fun. So let me get these open and get a little bit of powder into each of our containers here. Just a little something to work with. And then a little UV resin. And get that mixed up. Now the nice thing about UV resin is it doesn't like start setting up right away. You literally need sunlight or UV light or something to make it set. So you've got a nice amount of time to work with it. Unlike working with regular resin, you do not need to wear a special masking when working with UV resins. They're a lot safer than a regular resin. Okay, I keep working here. Get this last one mixed up. So you don't want to try and do this all at once. You want to do small sections at a time. So we're just going to pick a section in our tray. And we're going to spread some of this resin on. And we're going to use uh, a silicone brush to help us spread our resin. And then we'll put our bubbles on and use our light and see if it works. Okay. 
I've got that in. And I'm going to move these off to the side here so that they're not getting exposed to the light. I'm going to take our bubbles. I'm going to make some bubbles here. up the bubbles. Good. You want to quickly get your light over top there as the bubbles are popping. Okay, I don't know how much you can see that, but that's a cool start. So now we're going to put some more around and do some more bubbles and uh, keep working. One thing I want to do is move off these bubbles that are on here. And it's almost completely dry. So all right, let's put some more on. Oh wow, look at how that's coming out so far. I think I want to redo over here a little because I got so many more small instead of big bubbles. And the nice thing is you can just take and put a little bit more where you want a little more. And just redo. It's no biggie to give yourself a little something more. Okay, that's how we are so far. Now I'm going to start working on the side edges. And we're just going to keep going until we get this whole tray done. So, onward. So this is going to be a little trickier because I have to sort of stand this up. Hmm. We'll back behind it to help hold it on angle. And onward we go. Last, I want to just get these top edges, at least with some color, not the scale. I don't want them to be so bland. So we're just going to put a little something along the edge here. OK, 
Okay, I'm really liking this. I put a little extra clear resin over the top of the eye just to help set it a little better. So it's a little brighter looking right there, but I am going to resin the whole thing eventually. But that is looking pretty cool to start with. And I think I'm going to work further and do some on this outside edge. Um, but looking cool so far. Let's keep moving. Alright guys, look at this. Let me give you a quick... This is almost completely dry. I'm probably going to give this a coat of resin after it sits for a little while. But look at this. It came out so cool. And with that color ship pigment in there. It's going to be really cool once it's set for a little bit and get a little resin on top. And I like that eyeball. Alright, we're going to let this sit and I'll show you when it's fully dry. Okay, we have the final results on my dragon skin tray. Really happy with the way this turned out. My little eyeball. Really cool look. Um, it does have the shift from the color shifts too, so that adds a little extra. Um, but we've got the skin all the way around. It's thinner in some spots, so you see some of the blue that was originally painted. That's okay too. And it's even on the outside. So really cool. Loving this technique. I have to play some more with it. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell to see when I upload more videos. This is part of our Friday with Friends train, so please check the description box for the links. I believe tonight we have myself followed by Janet with Acrylic Creations by Jay Witty and then Betty from Oak by Bettina. I believe that Joanne is off tonight, but please check the description box in case that has changed since I did this video. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone.